Today, in this experiment, I will calculate the average velocity of a ball rolling down an incline. Here I have a flat board set at an angle. I have marked a starting point and midpoint across the board. The distance from the start to the midpoint is 0.59 meters and from the midpoint to the end is 0.6 meters. I will now measure the time it takes for the ball to reach the midpoint and I will do this by using a stopwatch and timing the time it takes to go from the beginning to the midpoint. I will do this five times and average the results to minimize error. The average time was 1.57 seconds. I will repeat this process for two more measurements. I will start the ball again at the top and only measure the time it takes to travel from the midpoint to the end. The average time for this one was 0.77 seconds. Finally, I will measure the time it takes for the ball to roll the whole length of the board. The average for that was 2.32 seconds. Now to calculate the velocity. We need to take the change in distance and divide that by the change in time. So to calculate the velocity for the first half of the board, I will take the ball's displacement, which is 0.59 meters, and divide that by our average time of 1.57 seconds. That gives us a velocity of 0.38 meters per second. Now I will do the same thing for our second set of data covering the final half of the board. I will use the average time I calculated at 0.77 seconds and our displacement at 0.6 meters. That gives us a velocity of 0.78 meters per second. This is the velocity of the ball rolling down the last half of the board. Note that the ball's velocity rolling down the second half of the board is more than the velocity of it rolling down the first half. The final calculation is the same as the others. This time we're calculating the velocity for the whole length of the board. The final calculation is the same as the others. This time we'll just use the length and time of the whole board. We'll place the displacement 1.19 meters over the time 2.32 seconds and divide. Doing the math I get a velocity of 0.51 meters per second. So our velocity is 0.38 meters a second, 0.78 meters a second, and 0.51 meters a second are all the average velocity of the ball at different times and positions. The variation is caused by an increasing amount of acceleration occurring over the distance traveled. Velocity is a simple calculation using the change in distance divided by the change in time. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.